Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer <coughs> with uh, Preventive Medicine. Today we're looking at um, the difference between ketosis and ketoacidosis. People on a low-carb diet, in the old Atkins diet, uh, for example, used to check their urine to see if they had ketosis. If they had a dark, if it came out dark like that, then yes, there was a degree and concentration of ketosis. If it came out light colored, there was no uh, no ketone. And yes, that's or those were urine strips. And yes, that was mine. And yes, I am ketotic today, but not much. That's an old strip. It got a lot more purple as time went on. I had, tend to stay on a fairly low carb diet between. Uh, 40 and 80 grams per day. Now, <clears throat> again, so is, isn't that dangerous? In fact, back in uh, 06 and 07, that was the th major thing you kept hearing, and before, that was the major thing you kept hearing about the uh, Scarsdale or the Atkins diet, any of the glu uh, um, ketogenic diets. This is actually even a case report in the New England Journal of Medicine. It was in 2007, as you can see on there, it says ketoacidosis during a low-carb diet. This person was on a uh, 20 grams or less carbohydrate diet. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what else happened with her. It looks like she got sick for some other reasons, uh, but they did do some other work to try to rule out diabetes. So why are we not all worried anymore about, uh, about ketoacidosis occurring from uh, low-carb diets? Well, I think it's, been, it's clear. It's experience. There have been multiple studies and a huge number of ex uh, people uh, just in the public going on low-carb diets and it's still, v it's very rare. It's beyond rare to see reports of ketoacidosis. Now, <clears throat> what is the difference between um, ketosis and ketoacidosis. I think there are two major differences. The first one is the level of ketosis. This is an illustration out of a uh, Journal of Nutrition for Cancer. You may remember from another, some other videos I've done where I mentioned the Warburg effect. Cancer cells don't um, metabolize glucose very well, so they uh, they tend to use low-carb diets as an adjunct to cancer therapy. And in this illustration, they're talking about the range that they want to get into, with the higher ranges getting on into uh, ketosis. So that's the first difference between uh, ketosis and ketoacidosis. One is just the level of ketosis going on. The other difference is dehydration. You get massive dehydration with diabetic ketoacidosis. And here's why. <clears throat> with a, a normal dietary uh, ketosis, you, you get normal blood sugars, 80s, um, certainly less than you know, 80, 100. With diabetic ketoacidosis, you get numbers well over 200, over 300, I've seen them hundreds, of, uh, hundreds higher. So with that level of uh, glucose, it's, uh, that drives the uh, dehydration. It's called an osmolality or osmolarity issue. With such a high concentration of sugar in the blood, you're pulling sugar out of the um, cells, and then you're urinating it away. In fact, the name diabetes means drinking disease. And in the past, the way we used to discover that people had diabetes was they'd get into diabetic ketoacidosis and they were just thirsty. They kept drinking and drinking and drinking. There is one other type of diabetes. It's called diabetes insipidus and it's caused by drinking for, uh, for another reasons. And we're not talking about drinking alcohol. We're talking about water or any, mostly water, water-based uh, fluids. Now, a warning, <clears throat> we're going to get into a little bit of biochemistry here. Pardon that noise. Um, <clears throat> not sure why this illustrator, 
decided to use a groundhog or a squirrel for the uh, for the animal, but here it is. So here's the groundhog, and he's got his fat cell. Adipose means fat cells. He's got his fat cells. This is a cell right here. This is the cell um, nucleus, and this is the the fat. The fat is made up of triglycerides. And the triglycerides are in turn made up of glycerin. Now glycerin was the um, the sweetener in uh, proline. In fact, there's a significant there does appear to be a significant amount of uh, glycerin in proline. I um, misspoke on the uh, previous uh, video and implied that that was a fat. Here's why. As you see, glycerin although a carbohydrate, is, um, is critically linked to fatty acids to form triglycerides. Glycerin is actually used uh, as a sweetener in foods, although it's a carbohydrate, it has a very low glycemic index. Now, <clears throat> so in this animal, uh, we can go both directions. We can go breakdown of fat, um, that will result in it that require an addition of water and then you get a glycerin molecule and three fatty acid molecules the body uses both glycerin and fatty acids here's another quick look at it the glycerin molecule and the fatty acids and again you've heard of fatty acids when you're getting ketotic uh, your brain uses fatty acids your heart uses fatty acids fatty acids are you considered from a biochemical perspective, very, very efficient and very good um, use for energy metabolism or respiration. Here's just another diagram showing, again, the fatty acid. Uh, you take a water out of this and you end up with one oxygen left, two hydrogens and an oxygen, H2O, water, and then you end up with a glycerin link, linking three fatty acids. One more quick, I'm sorry to beat this to death, but one more quick look at it. So again, you start to get a little bit of understanding regarding how the fat cells result in a breakdown of uh, triglycerides into fatty acids and glycerin. We haven't yet talked about the next step. Let's do that. <clears throat> so, fat cells here, remember adipocytes, adipose meaning fat. Um, releasing some free fatty acids. The free fatty acids are turned into ketones by the liver. The other cells or tissues of the body cannot create ketones out of um, free fatty acids. Ketones are then used again by the brain and other tissues for fuel. Um, glucose is uh, formed by the liver and put out as well during a, a time of uh, decreased um, insulin. Another quick look at it a different way. Um, this is the liver during fasting and again you see coming off the tricyclic a, uh, um, acid or TCA cycle you get these three carbon pyruvates. Those are then broken down into uh, ketones from um, carboxylic acids or, or uh, different versions of uh, carbolic acids. I mean, um, again, carboxylic acids. So here's, here's one of them, one of the more common ones. Acetic acid, two carbons, and again, the acid moiety at the end. Uh, you put those two together. This H2O here comes off as water and then you have a ketone. A ketone is a carbon chain with a with a single um, carbon having a double bind to oxygen, carbon oxygen double bond. Now why was all that uh, important? Well <clears throat> again we've been told that um, ketosis is good by many people because it's a signal of burning fat. Now we know why it's burning uh, how that happens biochemically. We've also been told, more so in the past than now, that 
ketosis is, is bad, it's dangerous. Routine dietary ketosis is not dangerous. Uh, it doesn't get reach the concentration or hyperglycemia, high glucose levels, uh, and dehydration that you get with diabetic ketoacidosis.